All righty then. So, as you know, last week during the coin toss, we shared, we started a, kind of a new thing where we talked about not being a drama queen because, of course, as with any of our football teams, there's always overreactions. And this week was no different. So we thought, why not bring back the segment that everybody, a lot of people seem to like. So Don't Be a Drama Queen has returned to the coin toss. And I have a feeling that this week's going uh, to really uh, blow your socks off because I, I, feel, I feel some stuff is, is smoldering underneath the surface with a lot of us. And so to start with, though, I'm going to go with a guy. I want to see what he's got because I know he's probably happy that his team is 2-0. So, Handy. Give us your best drama queen moment for this week. Come on, buddy. Give it to us. Well, well, first of all, I don't know about nobody smoldering socks. If your socks are smoldering, keep them on. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Oh, I'm just saying. The smoldering socks does not go well with chicken nuggets and filet of fish. Thank you very much. This has been your public service uh, body sanitation announcement. Uh, don't be a drama queen. Uh, I am ecstatic about the, the game that you mentioned, but we go talk about that later in another segment. What I want to talk to, I would like to address the fans of a certain team that is uh, about three, what is it, about four and a half, five hours southwest of here. And, uh-oh, uh, uh-oh, here it comes. I love it. And, 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 and there's, this, there's this whole thing. It's almost like the, the cicadas returning every 17 years, except this is annual. This is an annual cycle. And, and every year the football season comes and the preseason comes and they get really excited like the rest of us about the NFL season comes and then the NFL season starts and things start to happen in a good way for this team. And the next thing you know, by week two and a half, all of their fans are buying Super Bowl champion shirts and Super Bowl champion, the little triangular banners, the people even still buy them little, the little banners that they put up on the wall. And they buy everything. They had Super Bowl everything to include their owner to the Dallas Cowboys fans. <laughs> Looking at you, Janae. To the Dallas Cowboys fans. <laughs> Looking at you, David. To the Dallas Cow- Looking at you, Ashley. Calm down. It's just week two. It's just week two. I'm going to give you your props where your props are due. You looked good. You won a couple games. But what I am going to tell you is that you just need to calm down and dial it back a little bit because you don't even know if you're going to the Super Bowl. I know my team ain't going to the Super Bowl. And that way, that's how I think every year. That way, if they get there, I'll be like, oh, wow, we really got there. Yay, team. <laughs> be ready to jump off. I am tired of every February, every January, these videos of y'all on the internet ripping your TVs off the wall that you just spent $780, beat up some old lady <laughs> at Black Friday at Walmart, snatching it and, sneak, and trying to sneak it in your house, ripping your TVs off the wall. One dude shot his TV, another dude got drunk, and, and his TV beat him up and burning your jerseys. I'm tired of seeing that. Calm down. It's week two. If you win the Super Bowl, I will clap for you and go, yeah, you did a good job. Thank you for hitting all the Cheerios and not making a mess on the floor. But it's week two right now. Please calm the hell down. We are tired of seeing y'all losing your minds. Oh, my God. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. That is a great way to start this segment. Thank you, Anthony, very much. I had a feeling you were going to give it to me, and you did. That's another story entirely. But anyway, <laughs> Delilah, we'll go, hey. we'll go to you next, my dear. What do you got for us this week? Don't be a drama queen. Come on, give it to us. Not be dramatic. It's just, it's just awful. Oh. God. It's just <laughs> awful. It's just the same old, same old. Well, okay. Hey, backtrack. There's same old and there's not. So I don't like Luke gets these calls. I think. Eberflus is making a lot of mistakes. He was also the one that was the defensive coordinator the next game because our defensive coordinator was out sick or something. I don't know. So I don't I don't like any of the play calling. It's awful. We paid a lot of money this offseason for an O line. Like Poles actually made all the right moves. Does that make sense? Like monetarily, he didn't overpay too much, he paid the guys he was supposed to. He got the kids that we needed on defense, but also some veterans, got some veteran old linemen, right? Like got like pieces for, you know, for Justin and it's still like not working. And that's the part that doesn't make sense. So obviously it has to be coaching. What else could it be? 
if you're not actually doing what you're supposed to do when you have this, especially like we ruined Justin Fields. Like this, this organization ruins quarterbacks at least for the past like forever, right? We ruined men <laughs> forever. And then for two seasons, we saw this young kid who we're excited about, right? Come out and like get busted up for two seasons. Wasn't developed. We know that, right? Wasn't developed, wasn't coached, wasn't given anything. And then we throw him out there finally. And of course he looks awful. Of course he looks bad. Of course he can't read a defense to save his life. He ran into a sack. He held on to the ball and ran into a sack. Did you see that? Yes, we saw that. So, like, that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I think Poles got his wish. Remember, he didn't pick Justin. And I think this is what he wanted was, like, listen, we're going to give you your season because I didn't pick you, but I don't want people to say that I was being, like, whatever. But this gives him the reason to trade him for picks now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, if he continues to play as atrociously as he is, which I do feel like, again, I feel that a lot of that's on us and the coaches that we put around him that really didn't take the time that they needed with him um, at all whatsoever. Um, And so I I think that that's really what Poles was waiting for. And so now he gets to go and pick the quarterback he wants. I will remind everyone that he picked Mahomes and we didn't when he was with Kansas City. Like, people forget that. People forget that 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 was Poles' part. He also built KC. KC wasn't great all the time. You know, they had their slumps. So, again, he's bringing that energy over here, but he didn't get the – he didn't get the the quarterback that he wanted, you know. And so, yeah, no, I still think it's – I'm not saying he's great, but I do – the Bears have never been in our history, right? We've never been known for quarterbacks ever. Like even Jim McMahon was okay. He was serviceable. He got us to the Super Bowl. He got a win. But no one well, why you think he's not in the Hall of Fame? Every other Bears on the 85 team, almost every single Bears on the 85 team, right? That went to the Super Bowl and so many after are in the Hall of Fame. Not Jim McMahon. Right? So that's what I'm trying to say. We've never in the history of our organization have been over that. But Green Bay has been all, he's dogging us for years, right? They are known as quarterback university. Does that make sense? Like that Bart Starr who got them the most Super Bowls, right? We know that, right? Started with him. Then came, you know, Mr. Brett Farbra. I know it's not Farbra. Uh, so, you know, came in, got another Super Bowl, beat up on us. Right after him, Aaron Rodgers, right? And now we have Jordan Love, who even though, again, I know that he lost to Atlanta, but he had a good game. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we have never been known for that. So I'm really hoping that we'll pose. And with the new direction of the modern NFL, right, it's a passing league now, right, all this other stuff that we keep saying, that I'm hoping that he can finally transition us into having – that kind of mentality, right? Like, and the best quarterback we've had, by the way, is not Mitch. It was Jake Cutler by the numbers, by the number. That's just sheer numbers. Just so you know, our most successful quarterback by sheer numbers was Jake Cutler. That's just, that's out there. Those are facts. So he wasn't Mitchy, and I, you know, Mitchy had his problem. So I'm hoping that Poles can get what he wants. This is his out, but trade. Justin Fields, Justin Fields will go on to be a backup quarterback somewhere, you know, and he'll get the guy he wants and whatever system that he wants that he wants to try to implement here. We've never been known as a football, you know, organization either because Virginia was 100 and what, 10 already, right? You know, she never passed on the reins. So now we're hoping that new new everything <laughs> can kind of change that and we can actually – operate as a football team so yeah now i gotta sit through another season of awfulness but i, I really do hope that with polls and now he'll be able to do what he wants fire the people that he wants and get the quarterback that he wants anyway so that's my rant that's my drama and i am yep. not being a drama well, that's just, those are all facts <laughs> yes Anthony, you have something to rebut or say what is it? I, I just had a couple of questions you said he ran into a set young 
Is that what you? Yes, yeah, he you, did. Yeah, she said okay. that. I'm, I'm reading this off the court report. So it says he ran it. I don't. I, you know what? I would like to, Your Honor, as people's evidence number one, to admit that Justin Fields is not an African American male because most African American men tend to go the other way when it's a butt whooping coming. He ran right into he just did he saw it. He saw him. He knew he was there. So he's he knew he was there. And he instead of trying to go around him, over him, or just lay down and say, I'm down, I'm down. He ran right into his arms like um baby ran into Patrick Swayze's arms in um uh, the movie where he held up in the in yeah. the air. Um, yeah, that, then, that one, sure. And then, and then Dirty Dancing. And then the second Dirty one, way. and then uh question number two. No, we put baby in the corner. Que yeah, question, right. que que question number two, Your Honor. You said that um he would be able to use whatever pick he wanted. He he'd use that pick to get the quarterback he wanted. I I just need a little clarification. Was that a I need a little clarification on that pick? Is it an ice pick or a lock pick? <laughs> Maybe is it, is it, is it, is it yeah. might be because I'm, I'm a little I'm a little preferential to an Afro pick. I you I hadn't used one in a long time. I don't know if y'all could tell, but um, you know, or maybe even a toothpick. I just I'm curious. Like inquiring minds want to know what's going on with this pick. Um, I got nothing further, Your Honor. That's it. The the the, the, oh, the, yeah. uh, I, the, you the know, people rest. Hope gets his shot now because that would be that would be old guard before they moved on. <laughs> so like well, no, he gets, yeah that's basically what it, yeah but who knows we'll see but anyway no no Thank i you. um that's very actually you know what i'm not gonna lie delilah that was a very interesting take i didn't think you were gonna go that way so i that's uh, oh. that's, that's something <laughs> cause i just yeah, i just I, use it for I, me I I'm heated. Quite, <laughs> no i don't but I'm saying, i didn't think you were gonna quite go that way so now you got me on that one i'm not gonna lie you, you surprised me with that one but uh let us move on to the lady who I know has been chomping at the bit since like the other day when we were talking about this. So, all right, Tina, the floor is yours. Go ahead. Do your worst. Let's hear it. The last week, I complained about the kicker. This week, the kicker yes. was the only one that was good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm well, literally uh, going through the list. Is there a part of the team that was good? And it's like, well, we got Russell playing Jekyll and Hyde. First half, he's like throwing balls like nobody's business to all the freaking rookies everywhere. And then the second half, he decides to sit there and watch a fumble be taken from him. Good Lord. Now, oh, Lord. I'm not even going to go into the bad refereeing because that's just a given part of the whole thing because it was bad on both sides. There's DPIs being called when there's no DPI and not being called when there is DPI. And geez almighty, to quote Bobby Singer to every one of the Winchester boys, I want to pull Kareem Jackson, get him right in the face and say, you idiot, you just got called for that last week. What the <laughs> bleep are you doing? Lord almighty. Now we can get into whether it was clean or not or all that. Uh, that's, that's a completely different thing. He knew. He knows they're going to watch. He knows the refs are going to call that. It's going to happen. He's lucky he didn't get suspended. Because if he did, then my entire secondary is literally ducked, as my <laughs> <laughs> autocorrect on my phone would say. Oh, good Lord. <clears throat> Defense. What the fuck happened? <clears throat> you you kept Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs, one of the best running backs in the league. Do 19 attempts for 48 yards. 48 yards. This week, Brian Robinson runs for 87 yards against two fucking TDs. Not even counting all the wide receivers that got in. <laughs> oh, my God. Offensive line. I'm not calling him McClinchy anymore. He's now McClinchy. He couldn't stay still. He's lucky he didn't get called for two encroachments. They called one of those on a defensive guy, which there was no moving on our line. So, again, we're back to the bad referee there. Oh my God, I could, Lord, I could keep going. I could keep going. But my biggest thing about all of this I'm, is, is I'm not stopping week, you. No, I know you're not. I, as you can tell, I'm fired. I'm to the point where I think I'm going to get a shirt that says put in Stidham and get rid of Wilson on the back because I am so done with Wilson. I have tried to understand it. I've tried to get him, blah, 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 blah. I'm honestly to the point where I think 
Pete Carroll is a used car salesman who sold us a lemon because he knew Wilson couldn't fucking do a check down to save his life. <laughs> and I hate Pete Carroll with every fiber of my being. <laughs> Dumb bozo with his smile and his perfect hair and everything. Oh Lord, he ran before he got indicted or got suspended or whatever they do with the NCAA thing. Okay, I'm done. I think. Okay, I sure. Oh, I, and just to I add mean, on to kind of like what Delilah was saying, it's your offense. It's it's the offensive line. Our offensive line was not dwelling. They were not keeping that pocket open long enough for Russell to even get to his second lead if he could make a read. To be able to throw the ball. But that Hail Mary he made, Lord, I've never been so shocked in my life. And then I had was sitting there like, oh, my God, oh, my God, we might be able to tie this. We might be able to, and then the referees yanked the rug up from underneath me. So, Delilah, part of your problem with fields is your offensive line. Now, here it is. We took two of the guys you guys wanted to have, too. Yeah. Not helping us. Yeah, I don't know because <laughs> yes and no because some okay, this is where Ben was right. He held on to the ball for like five seconds, six seconds. And so his O line actually in that in this game really was doing their job. <laughs> but at the same time, who calls for a screenplay in the five yard? Who calls oh, yeah. for a screenplay oh, in God. a five yard line? And you're telling me that's not coaching? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What's the screenplay going to Oh, I mean, the, the, it's a oh, five thanks, yard George line. Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I did too. But I wish I could blame the whole O line on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Not oh lord, time. I'm not sweating. I'm sorry. I got a little heated there. Not this game. Not this <laughs> game. I can't. I can't play right. online for this one. <laughs> you, ladies, well, I'm with you, Tina. Though I'd be, I would have been hell upset too. I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> if I were you for that. <laughs> and the thing is, last week I was upset at the game because we lost by one, and then I was fine the next day. I was okay after the game. Not happy, but okay. It was the next morning. <laughs> yeah. I was like. <laughs> I'm done with Wilson. Like I said, put in Stidham. I don't care. Blow the team up. Let's who's go. in there now? Who's her backup? I forgot. Jason Stidham. They brought him over from the Raiders. Yeah. That the, 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 the ball guy with the British accent that, that, that beats people up in the Expendables? I didn't even know. <laughs> no, that's not, no, not Jason Statham. Jared Stidham, oh, right. Stidham. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I know. Know. The movie that Handy I mean, and I were quoting, I feel like right now, I am Benny from the movie going, you're on the wrong side of the river <laughs> i love that movie <laughs> all righty there see there you go I, was just, I, was, I, was, I, was, I would love to point out the complete and total dichotomy between the two ladies as they went on their rants delilah was all calm delilah was very calm like a woman that knew that the that the, the wine that her her cheating boyfriend slash husband just drank had some in it they were gonna make him sleep for a real long time. And Tina, on the other hand, was like Jack Nicholson chopping the door down in the shining. <laughs> like, here's Johnny. <laughs> like, just just different whoo. approaches. Nothing wrong with that. They're both brain. Dichotomy. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Hey, I, that was I, a, I, I was, every minute of it. I thought it was great. So you know, it was, oh, it was, I did too. Tina, I thought Tina, right. Tina, my friends will tell you if I'm quiet, you're worse off. Tina, we there don't you go. I believe that. Yeah, I believe <laughs> that I believe for a lot of women. When they don't say nothing, you need to really be scared then, my friend. That's when you need to start shaking in the booth is when they don't say anything. Then you go, all right, something's up here and I don't like it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> fellas, just my experience, hey, of course, but that's all I'm gonna stick to that. But that's all I'm saying. Fellas, what they just um, said, write that down and put it on your refrigerator, put it on your bathroom <laughs> mirror, put it put it in the in the rear view mirror of your car. Make it a daily remind. Make it a daily affirmation on your phone. Right. <laughs> when she's quiet, watch out. If you, walk, it's if you it, as as a man who has been married twenty nine years between multiple marriages, if you walk in your house and you realize two or three hours have passed and you have not heard from or had heard from or seen your significant other anywhere in the house and they're not sleeping 
and they're not out of the house, just <laughs> go ahead and pack yourself a bag and get a room somewhere because you are in trouble. <laughs> there you go. All right. So as we all know, just I went on a little tangent last week about a lot of things. It's okay. I'm about to go on another one. I don't know where this is going to take me, but I'm going to go on it. So I, I listened to what Delana said, because like I said, I didn't think she was going to go that way. So I was really listening to what she had to say. And again, I get all her points and I understand. And that my overreaction was kind of like that too. Initially it was like, you know what? I'm really disgusted with this whole thing. Just blow the whole damn thing up. Just do it. Like that was my overreaction for sure. Cause I, See, paint this picture, if you will. I'm sitting at my father's 70th birthday lunch, but I'm watching the game on my phone. And at one point, I'm sitting there. There's, you know, 25 people there celebrating my father. And I'm in the corner screaming at a damn phone about what the Bears are doing, okay? Because then, and my dad even said, hey, what's the score? So I'm giving him updates as we're, you know, we're partying and whatever. And it's like, I just keep getting more and more disgusted. I literally, I just turned my phone off in the third quarter at one point because I didn't want to see it anymore, all right? Um, it just, there was so many things wrong with Sunday's game. Yes, Justin Fields looks like he's regressed. I don't know what the hell the last two weeks has been, but that's, uh, I mean, I wanted to go out there and just smack him around and go, dude, what are you doing? Because here's one of the things, too, that I noticed kind of watching the game. It looked like there were times that Justin changed the play, and then all of a sudden we'd get like a, a false start penalty or something on the offensive line, and you'd go, what the hell are you doing? Now, here's the thing. If you're going to allow Justin the freedom to do that, this is where practice comes in. This has always been kind of my argument for – Preseason helps with crap like this because you get familiar with your line. You get the line gets familiar with when you're going to call an audible or what you might change to. But when you play one quarter of one freaking game in the preseason and they throw in the last game for the hell of it, what are you doing? You are not doing anything. You guys look worse than you did last year. I don't think that was humanly possible. I mean, that game Sunday was so winnable, it wasn't even funny. And then it's not just that you threw a screenplay on the eight yard line, you did the same thing the play before it was the same damn play. What are you doing? And yes, Justin is holding on to the ball a little too long. And yes, there's been a popular meme on Facebook all day about, oh, look at the guy who's wide open while Justin falls into a sack. Like I've been seeing that damn thing all day from everyone. Then do you know what it's like? Do you know what it's like <laughs> to go into work on a Tuesday like I did this morning and all my coworkers who are Bears fans want to give me crap about everything that's happened so far in the first two weeks? Do you think that's fun? No, it's not fun. Do you know why it's not fun? Because I'm at work and I don't want to be aggravated at work. <laughs> but you bring it up because this is what happens every Sunday. Do you know, for those of you who may not know this particular stat, currently in the NFL, currently, we have the longest losing streak. It's at 13 games. We haven't won a game in 13 freaking games. Are you serious? And yes, How Ben, many? I saw your little, what, go, what, Anthony, what? What, say it, come on, come on, let's go. I, 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 asked, I asked because I wanted you to say it again. I'm the hype so man. What? How many games? You know what? You know, no, no. I don't need no hype man, bro. I'm hyped. Trust me. You know, <laughs> you don't even want to know what I really. I have any key. I refrain, and I'm I, I'm not mad at Tina for swearing, but I'm trying real hard to refrain because I'll probably get canceled if I say what I really want to say. So I'm trying to bite my tongue here, okay? Because this shit is not working. Part of my language, it's not working, and it's really embarrassing. Only from the standpoint of. You don't look – there are some play like Cole Komet looked entirely lost this past Sunday, and he couldn't have blocked Delilah and Tina. 
He really, and no offense to you ladies, I know you're strong. But there's no I get way, it. Like, he literally, like, you're like, whoa, what are you doing, bro? Like, would you throw a block on someone? Would you pretend like you're supposed to turn around and hit a guy and then try to run out for a pass? Like, at least make it look like you know what you're doing. He looks so lost that entire game. Like, he didn't know what the hell was going on. And that's just, and we just gave him all this big money, right? We gave him a new contract. Cole set for another three, four years, and nothing. It just it it it's frustrating beyond belief. Bears <laughs> haven't won a regular season game. Uh, wow! Thanks, Ben. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, no, Anthony. How yes, long till you start fan. writing letters to your family? Wow! Right, <laughs> damn, man. That was... Well, again, thanks everyone for watching. We do appreciate Thank the comments. You. Keep them coming. I've seen Alex, Sean. Uh, who else is in the comment? Ben, ben. like, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, who else is out there? But, it, again, it's just frustrating to watch. And my overreaction is definitely that. Like, I don't disagree. I, in some way, I don't disagree with what Delilah said. Because you know what? Maybe this is exactly what Ryan Poles wanted. Maybe he figured, you know what? I'm not sold on Justin, but I got him. Let's put him in. I mean, you don't even know. I mean, I don't say he's trying to sabotage the guy, I I but I mean, good lord! But good lord! Like, like you said, the play calling is atrocious. Justin Kidd doesn't either doesn't know when to run, doesn't want to run anymore, doesn't know when to throw the ball or take you know taking sacks like that is ridiculous. Like, I mean, my goodness, man! You, I mean, I get it. Maybe last year you ran more out of necessity, but damn, dude, you can take off anytime. Like, what are you doing standing in the pocket like? All of a sudden, you're the greatest pocket passer in the world, dude. Your old line isn't good enough for you to be a pocket passer right now. You need to get the hell out of there, bro, and do something. I'm just being honest. Like, that yeah. offensive line is not great. I mean, yes, they're get, they're trying. I'll give them that. Like the I said, they were trying to do their job on Sunday. But my God, man, they're not there yet. You can't be a pocket passer with a line that's going to collapse. You just can't. Move. Play action. Anything. I don't even care. Design run, any kind of run. I don't care if it's a busted play. Just stop standing in there and letting people hit you. Stop that now. That's all I got to say about that. All right. I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. Let us move on. Got a lot of show left. Appreciate everybody who said in the comments. Thank everyone for their takes and was handy hiding behind a chair. What the hell is, happened? Where is, you it, is, is it safe to come out yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, Dorothy. The house landed on the witch already. I, Come on out. You're good. I, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I said, man, I said, I'm going to be a hype man. I don't need no goddamn hype man. Okay? <laughs> My yeah. bad, bro. I love you, Handy. You know I do. But it, today, <laughs> today, I didn't need any, believe me. Yes, Sean. I, 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 I will take a hug, Sean. We'll, we'll, we'll hug on Friday. It's okay. But, yeah. hug it out, was, uh, I'm good. As I said, I'm done. I took my breath. I'm good. Yep. I'm good. We got more show. We're going to move on.